Hello everyone and welcome to the special edition Geek Gear February unboxing or rather the review because like I said in the original video I had technical difficulties. I wish I could record myself having those technical difficulties but just in case this is the first video you've seen the technical difficulty was my camera refused to record anything more than two seconds which is basically me setting up this video which was annoying but I uh, decided that I was still going to do this because I thought it'd be really cool and the first um, one that we had was the t-shirt that I'm modeling right now uh, which is the long sleeved MRJ's finest milk chocolate eat you'll feel better now when I first saw this I couldn't figure out what the reference was um, Having had a look, I've discovered that there is, in fact, a company known as R.J. Chocolates, and they do sell Harry Potter chocolates at H&M. At so, we'll see if, uh, if we see if I'm interested enough to actually investigate uh, when lockdown ends. However, when I did further investigation, I may have discovered where, where the actual intention was, and the clue is in the picture. I don't know if you can see that, but basically that is a werewolf right in the middle of the chocolate. And the second I saw it again this morning, I looked it up and I found out that it is Remus's chocolate. He actually sells chocolate. How do I know? Because Remus's full name is Remus John Lupin. And I doubt he would have used the word Lupin because people would have clocked that he was a werewolf. So he used his first and second name for his company. I think everyone nowadays, after the great, if he'd survived the great, the great battle, would have been more than happy to take Lupin chocolate. We know it's not contagious. But I could understand his, lo his logic and his knowledge. And I look forward to having some of his chocolate someday. I'm interested to see if they do actually sell the chocolate. But loving the t-shirt. It feels wonderful. It's a nice size. And I love the long sleeves. I haven't tried this at work yet. So we'll have to see how it is at work. But on top of that, we also had a second t-shirt. Because in the specials, we get two t-shirts. And that is this one. Reveal your secrets. Now, you probably spotted it already. We have on the top, James Potter, Harry Potter's dad. He was the stag. Lupin, Remus John Lupin on the side with a werewolf. We have Sirius Black, the dog, on the other side. And then at the bottom, we've got Peter Pettigrew, who was the rat. And we've got the footsteps, which comes from the map and a compass on the bottom. So this is probably what they would have used as a logo. I don't remember it being on the map, but I could imagine it being somewhere on the map because they would have wanted to show um, themselves as it. And it's just a brilliant picture. I think it's absolutely brilliant. I wore it at work. Someone at work got the reference straight away, which was fantastic. So what a fantastic T-shirt to have. It was absolutely brilliant. Now, I'm going to ask my assistant to help me here because I think he'll enjoy um, being silly and probably getting some of the stuff. So, hey, Mish, if I can have the first item, please. Thank you. So we have the night bus. It's a replica um, night bus. Um, the only downside I had to this, because it's actually really brilliant, it came in a good package as well. But the only thing issue I had with it is that there's no inner detail. But I imagine this is probably what um, the muggles, the normal, pe the mortal people like me. Um, would have seen the night bus as if they'd spotted it. They would have spotted a purple night bus um, with blank windows. 
maybe even thought it was a ghost bust. Um, when I saw that, it reminded me of when I was a kid. Um, I don't know if they do it anymore, but there used to be a festival where they had a whole whole row of London buses, old London buses. I remember it because when we were there, they actually had one of the London buses. Um, I don't know if you've seen the live action version of um, 101 Dalmatians, not the Coella, the, 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 the Coella one that's out, but the one long time ago. Um, and they're on the clip, they've got the clip where she goes, no, it's um, 102 Dalmatians because it's when she's going a little bit mad, her therapy isn't working. Um, and she starts seeing the whole of London covered in spots, including a London bus. Now, this London bus that I'm imagining was used in the film appeared at this festival. And if the festival is still going on, which I'd like to investigate, because if, if so, I'd love to go again. Um, I can imagine this bus would be hidden somewhere along that line. And there was a huge line. It was a massive line. It was wonderful to go to. But every, all good things come to... What, UK, yeah. All good things come to um, an end eventually. So it had probably one of... It had... Prob so it had probably one of the great... What are you doing, Hey, Hey, Mish. Be gentle with that. What have you got for me? Oh, yes, you're right. So this is um, the sweet shop lanyard. It would have been used at Hogsmeade um, to be able to create quite an image to it. Um, I, don't, I don't think the Weasley brothers would have used it, but um, it's got loads of wonderful... Ooh, is it a bit dirty? Oh, dear. Got a bit of chocolate on it. How ironic. At least I hope it's chocolate. But it's got... But it's got... Every flavour beans. It's got gummy, bear, gummy bears. It's got chocolate. And it's got lollipops. Um, which is a basic standard you see in most... Um, um, ice cream sessions. Which is quite... Quite good and quite impressive. Uh, Hamish, do you want me to get something else? Now, um, the next item that I had um, was quite surprised. Was quite Are you okay back there? Okay, it was quite surprising really because it made everything so unique. You got something for me? Just have a look. Come on, let go. Good boy. Ah, so this item here was. Um, it's interesting that it's on the back of a silver, um, a slivering card, which I thought was quite more effective, but it is, the, it is a pin of a Death Eater's mask, which I thought was quite, quite cool and quite good. In this light, it's, I don't know if you can see it without it glaring, but it's got all the detail to it. Um, and it's actually really, really good. I'm gonna put it up here to keep it safe. But um, with regards to the card, I think I know where to put this card. This is what I did in the video as well. So in order to open this, you need, without breaking it, to get it off, the lock, open it up, place the card in, make sure that it can close like so, and then for extra security, there we go, slip it onto there. Now, I can't wear this at work because it doesn't have the safety bit so if someone came up to me and tried to strangle me with it it would be quite dangerous um, so I can't use this for work 
but this is actually really good and I'm quite happy I'm quite happy with it and the Death Eater um, chain and lock because it's quite cool now the next item that I saw if Hamish, Hamish you could get it for me if the next the so the next item that I saw if Hamish if you could get it for me good boy the next item that I saw was actually really, really good. I thought it was really, really impressive. Breath in. I don't know what he's doing. Half the time, I don't know what... Will you be careful? I've only had one of these break. Careful next time. Sorry about that. He's usually a good boy. I think he's just having a bad day. But this was my favourite item. I declared this my favourite item. The second I saw it, it is, of course, Fantastic Beasts poster. And it's based on the actual poster that we that can that was given out at the time, which is awesome. Absolutely brilliant. You've got bow truckles, you've got dragons, um, you've got um, mudlacks. You've got I, can't, I, can't, I think this is like a Death Eater. Um, a gnarl eater or something, but I can't remember what it was called. I know where I've seen it in the film. It's the inset that um, Newt Scamander uses to save Tina. And it's also the one that he gets the venom for, uh, the Thunder Dragon, which isn't on here unless that bottom bit there is meant to be the Thunder Dragon. I'll bring it closer to you. I can't really do it. There we go. That should help. So this bottom bit here. Can't really do it with the glare, unfortunately. But this is pretty cool. And this became my favourite the second I unwrapped it, providing it survives. Um, it should work pretty well. And I think it looks absolutely A1 fantastic. Oh, well, we don't need that one yet. We need the other item, if you haven't lost it. I hope you haven't lost I hope he hasn't lost it. I saw him fiddling with it with it earlier. With me. Oh, you've got Kay back there. Yeah, he's all right. So I saw him fiddling. So the next item that we had is quite a, a unique one. Can I have it, please, Hamish? Thank you very much. And it is, of course, this month's wand. Now, this wand um, didn't have as much enchantment as the other one did. I imagined maybe Poison Ivory again. Maybe someone who does berries, or not berries very often would have one like this. Um, I kind of imagined Luna Lovegood and Father Time because of the shape on the top. Um, and I also imagined um, the owner of Jurassic Park. Both owners would have had a wand like this because of the amber inside of it. Um, if I had a wand like this, my one would be um, aqua, Aquamarine because that's my birthstone. Um, I imagine other people would have had their own birthstones like ruby or sapphire. But this is quite a unique little thing. When I saw the tip of this, I've just remembered another character. I don't know if anyone else remembers this, but there used to be a, sh a show called Watch and Read. And one of the subjects to it was um, these group of people... Um, who were trying to rescue the world from the, this other dimension that was trying to take people and use them as um, servants. Um, so these people had to stop these people from getting kidnapped. Um, and one episode, that, so their grandfather has been kidnapped and they've been given this special stick that glows on the top um, every time. So if uh, if they're pointing that way and it's not glowing, his grand their granddad isn't there. But if they're pointing that way and it's glowing, um, they will head in that direction. It will get brighter each time um, they're heading towards that direction. Um, and it was quite an interesting episode. I'll put a link down below if I can remember what the episode was. But this was an absolutely brilliant wand. Um, I think I think the detail is really good. I'm loving the berries on the bottom. But this is truly a fascinating wand to have. And we, of course, have 
the description. It is a plum wand, probably made from a plum plant. Um, 13 and 3 quarter inches. The core is a floating plum root. So by saying that, anyone who lives in the swamp, like the swamp monster, would maybe have a wand like that. And it is made out of driftwood, so sticking with the water theme. So maybe anyone who is also water would also have a wand like that, which is pretty good. Now let me just double check that everything's been handed to me. Exclusive Reveal Your Secrets t-shirt, which I've already shown you. Exclusive RJ's Chocolate Long Sleeve, which I'm wearing. Licensed and exclusive Fantastic Beast framed print, which is my favourite, all-time favourite so far. Unique Ones exclusive, the Plum Wand, which is our little friend here. Exclusive Wizardry Rescue Bus replica, also known as the Night Bus. Um, the Wizardry Sweet Shop Staff Lanyard. Nice. Sweet. I'm joking. Um, and the legendary Witch Mask pin which are also known as the devil's mark um death eater mark so all in all we had some pretty good um items that we now had. one thing that wasn't shown in the um the original unboxing was the cards i can tell you right now i didn't win either of them so i didn't see a point in showing them in the reveals because we've all seen them before i don't win them so there's a point now where I don't even bother doing them. But they are good fun, and I do enjoy... I think I've only won once, and that was 10% off, and it's might even have expired by now, but we'll see. Anyway, from me, and from everyone, and from Hamish as well, who's gone off, gone off to go and find something to do, um, stay safe, stay well, keep the magic in your fingertips, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.